Bear with me here, uh, just making some tea. Take my gear off here. Oh, there goes some shades. He's sleeping. He's not dead. Um, oh, put my tea away. Uh, yes, I am uh, a bit of a British pirate, I suppose you might say, uh, Scottish pirate or Irish pirate or uh, one of those one of those colonies. Um, or, or my my ancestors may have been um but today because i'm here to talk about natives native issues uh and why because the native issues i'm going to discuss today are what a native advocate and knowledge collector for an eagle staff is and what that is is a new position in the provincial uh, that the provisional pro, provisional not provincial provisional government uh, that handles negotiations between First Nations and indigenous people the northern the northern indigenous um, uh, and 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 the crown who is still handling the upper tiers of Canadian law, believe it or not. Um, these might go long, but hang in there, because I'm about to get as real as you can. I know I'm dressed up, but this is me identifying as who I am. So I'm just going to keep being real, and I know... I'm pretty outrageous, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some tea and put this 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 is this is uh, Halloween stuff here I guess the cinnamon spice, but having dirty chai. pirate you gotta calm down and I've had too much coffee so time for a little tea and I'll start talking about uh, first order of issue being my apology to the bear clan for going onto Twitter and attacking some profiles that looked like fake robot profiles that may have been part of the Canadian Conservative Party's war room effort that cost a ton of money. Anyway, um, you know, I used a bunch of uh, bits of info that I've been collecting just personally and using my own efforts to fight that. Um, because they are having a uh, uh, impact on what's happening in laws they should have no part in. Um, and what I mean is that this is not about gas or oil or fossil fuels of any kind. Although, although that is part of the situation. Yes, that's happening and that's what's forcing, forcing these issues. Um, which brings me to my role and why I even thought that I had 
any right to address the situation. Um, the staff that I work for, and this is not a paid job because the tribe I work for had all the provincial funding cut. So I, I they, they have they have nothing for me to work with, as in resources and funding, and I have to do this myself. I've been spending the time since they asked me if I'd like the the, the position, just preparing and upgrading what skills I need to do the job that 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 that, that will require. So, I know I'm still raw, rough and young looking and but I've got the heart that they wanted I guess and as to why this isn't a fossil fuel issue is that these people are being relocated from there's like maybe not all of them but this is a land dispute over territories and whose home is whom's is, is whom, whom whose home is whose and um i am the native advocate and knowledge collector for which which is a real governmental position by the way people um i'll share links to you know the dissolution of the old governmental body that was handling negotiations between because everyone keeps saying oh that's not fair it's not working and guess what reform happened not is happening it happened and i'll get to that and how that even happened and what's going on now in the next video this video is to explain why I was speaking up on behalf of Wet's Wesson because I, I do hope I'm saying that right my tongue is not the right tongue for some tongues but languages will be part of my effort um, I do like language <clears throat> um, so the Eagle Staff that I work for is called the Eagle Staff of the Survivors or of Survivors of Homelessness. And seeing people pushed off of the lands and being told they have no say in this matter really kind of not only fits the job profile of me to step up and advocate for them but it also hits me on a personal level which is maybe what what, what made what made my adopted brother Tannis ask me if I wanted the job and I do but this is hard because none of us advocates are getting any support from our own governments or the native governments well I don't, I don't know personally each one's situation but as for me I'm alone and I have to build this by myself however I will and I do hope that we can put our weapons down sit down here and talk and uh, in the next one I'll outline uh, a lot more about um, you know the, the the actual governmental legislation changing